One of Netflix's top 10 right now here in the United States of America is examining Houston's infamous killing fields. It's in an area off of I-45 between Houston and Galveston where the bodies of multiple young women were discovered, including Laura Miller, daughter of Texas EquiSearch founder Tim Miller, who joins us today. Tim, thank you for being here. You, well, thank you. are such an advocate for other families and you've used your family's pain to, to make such a difference for so many people. How are you feeling about this docu-series? Do you feel like this is going to make a difference and get some breaks in these cases that we've been looking for for so many years? You know, years? I think that it's already made a difference. It's uh, amazing, the emails and phone calls and things that we've received already. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we've got some really good in information. I turned this thing down for a long time. Mm -hmm. They wanted me to do it, and mm -hmm. I turned it down, I turned it down, and then, um, the person of interest in this, we know he lived in Ohio, Florida, and then Texas and everything, and I, ju and I just felt as though, well, let's go ahead and do it and see if we can get some information out. We got information out. I think we're making some progress wow. on some things, and uh, I never wanted to start EquiSearch. Mm -mm, of you course know, I was, uh, You know, I, I was doing okay in construction, and mm -hmm. uh, God had different plans, I guess. I mean, many families say, Mr. Miller, thank you. And I say, you know what, don't mm -hmm. thank me. Thank Laura. If she was alive, I wouldn't be doing this. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, it's 38 years. And now I've really spent a lot of time with the other families and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's been, uh, you know, it's been, it's been heartbreaking what everybody's been mm -hmm. going through. And... And, uh, and, and you know, in the beginning, the, the police kept us away from me, pe each other. They didn't want to talk. And they, the uh, niece of Heidi Fye came to me a year ago, and you know, Heidi's dad had literally 32 cassette tapes an hour on each side, and he record stuff, and he wrote stuff down. And the person of interest, um, Heidi's dad, brought him up before Laura even disappeared. So, you know, there's been so many mistakes made along the way. Uh, so many mistakes yeah. that I don't yeah. even want to uh, I know who's responsible for her, and it's a person I thought in the very beginning and I can say this, there was a witness there when it happened. Mm -hmm. Well, and I know that has to be one of the, like that's gut-wrenching to know, but I know also you expressed how frustrating it was to not know at the same time. The, the docu-series examines, I think, a, a lot of your regrets, the, the emotions that's involved in what you do and, and, and how you got here. Do you think that Netflix got it right in sharing your story and the family stories as well? I think they did get it right. And, and you know, one person I've spent a lot of time with was uh, was Marla that was on mm -hmm. the show, that was literally sexually molested by all these years and everything by this guy and stuff, and and, and it was just heartbreaking. And and um, she actually went to Galveston Police Department way in the day, and then an FBI agent actually took her to League City, and, and they just wouldn't listen to her mm -hmm. and stuff and the struggles that that she went through as a, as a stepdaughter and stuff and the things that the other families went through. And uh, at one time I was named a suspect. Oh, good I grief. think they did everything they could possibly do to kind of shut me up and I wasn't going to shut up. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I hit the nail on the head early on and I think finally after 38 years we're making progress. We're making progress. So. You know, it's uh, I lost a lot of hair, as everybody can see. Yeah. <laughs> lost a lot of sleep, mm -hmm. but but looking back on, uh, you know, I think about Laura every day. I miss her, and of course. and uh, but all the wonderful people I've met through this, and the and the difference we've made in, in mm -hmm. other people. I mean. You know, people say thank you for being there, and and, and I'm one person that can understand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, when Laura disappeared, when all them girls disappeared, there was never on the news. There was listed as runaways and stuff. We got zero, zero, zero help until bodies were found, 
And I remember I made that promise to God and Laura, I'd never leave a family alone. Mm -hmm. I didn't know there was going to be this many families. Yeah. How many? Do you keep up? Do you have we've any idea on, yeah, how many? We've been, we've been on over 2,200 searches, 42 oh states, 11 different countries. And as of last week, we recovered our 346 deceased victim and brought closure, some mm -hmm. brought many home alive that would have been dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So again, Tim Miller had some big plans. God had different ones. Mm -hmm. and I think I'll stick to his. Yeah, well, they're you important. Said too that people think of you as Mr. EquiSearch, that, that people don't know the name Tim Miller. You, you help so many families. It, people instantly think of you as, as someone who can help when they're in a desperate emotional mm -hmm. situation. But what can people do to help you and to help the organization? Well, you know, they can go to our website, txeq.org. We need volunteers, of course. We need funding and everything. And, and uh, I still see my therapist, and you know when you said, Mr. Equisearch, you know through this whole thing all these years, uh, and it's sad to say, but I've kind of lost my identity who Tim Miller is, mm -hmm. and, and I want to get that back. Mm -hmm. I want to get that back, and so I think we're making some progress in the investigation now, and and one of these days I'll find out who Tim Miller really is, wow. not Mr. Equisearch. Well, we know you're amazing. <laughs> we can at least tell you that, and so giving and so loving for so many people. So bring us up to date for people who don't know about the case of what's going on with it right now. So someone's allegedly admitted to, to killing was, a lot? There was actually a person there. I've been spending a lot of time with him. I, uh, he, he's actually talked to authorities and not Lake City authorities, of course. And, and, and I'm not going to say where Laura died, but it was not Lake City, mm -hmm. neither. She was just dumped there. Um, it's all I can do to keep my composure with this guy mm -hmm. that was there. There were three guys involved. One of them's dead. Clyde Hendricks is never going to talk. And so we're um, certainly working some things. It was very emotional spending all this time. He yeah. actually took me for the ride, took me in. Wow. It was uh, it's pretty unbelievable. Yeah. And told some things that nobody would know. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I don't know. I'm hoping that we get there. I'm mm. hoping we get well, there. Well, someone's going to see and realize that they know something mm -hmm. or feel compelled when they mm -hmm. see your story and everyone else's story in this in this docuseries that, it, that it's time. It's time to share it's what time. they know. And and thank you so much for coming on. And I, I do want to say that there was one moment where you said you were saying goodbye to Laura when you were walking away and she said, don't give up. And I would just, if I may be so bold <laughs> to say, she would be so proud of you and the work that you've done mm -hmm. and how you've turned your heartache into helping other people. I would walk up to that cross and say, Laura, please don't hate your daddy, but I can't come out here anymore. I have to say goodbye, and I'd literally be walking away. <laughs> I would get choked up. And I'd hear this little voice say, Dad, don't quit. Please don't mm. quit. I'd say, damn you, Laura. Damn you. What do you want me to do? Now I know. Yeah. Now I know. Well, thank <laughs> you for You're that. so strong. Mm. <laughs> you hang in there, and you'll find you. Oh, we yeah. already have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tim. Thank you for being here today. Thank you.